kids! Click here to subscribe! This is my favorite time of the year. Oh, oh, wow. Toro, why do we celebrate Lantern Day? When our ancestors had to leave Earth and live in the clouds. Many lives were saved that day. But unfortunately, many did not make it. For them, we float the lanterns on the river as a symbol of remembrance. Did everyone bring a lantern from home? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Look at mine. It's probably the best. Oh. Oh. Yes, Max, it's very nice, but everyone's lantern is wonderful in its own way. Now I want everyone to draw what they wish for and put it inside their lantern. Abby, you already have a Mr. Teddy. No, I drew a Mrs. Teddy for Mr. Teddy, so he won't be lonely when I'm not around. <sighs> Here's my wish. Cookies? Not just cookies. Double chocolate marshmallow stuffed frosted sugar cookies! <laughs> Doesn't your mom pack those for you every day? Yeah, but... More would be even better. Hmm, I'm not sure what you drew there, Butch. That's bacon. I saw it in a picture of humans from back in the Earth days. It's supposed to be really yummy. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> My parents will get me whatever I want, so I don't need to wish. Peanut, where's your lantern? Oh, I forgot it. I reminded everyone yesterday. I didn't forget. My family couldn't afford to buy me a lantern. <gasps> what if everyone takes a small part from their lantern and shares it with Peanut? Uh. Together, we can make a new lantern for her. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have everything. There is a wish I should have drawn. What is it? I wish everyone liked me more. <laughs> That's not a wish you can get by drawing. Huh? That's a wish you can get by doing. Uh, 
wait. Thank you, Max. Why are you working so late, Daddy? Well, nothing is happening on Wind Island. So, I have nothing to write about for the newspaper. Uh. I think something's happening now. The whole neighborhood is without power. Something must have happened to the windmill. As head reporter for the Wind Island Express, I better get over there. Me and Teddy should come too. Um, it's a little late and very dark. Which is why I should come. Someone needs to protect you. <laughs> Good point. What happened? The high winds in the area knocked over the tree onto the power lines. We have to get the tree off the power lines so we can restore energy to the island. Not to fear. I have training for situations such as this. You can't use a chainsaw. We'll destroy the tree. In school, we learn that trees are very limited on Wind Island. We must protect each and every one. Very well. I'll try something else. Right. Here we go. Have no fear, it's going to work. I think it's working. It's not going to work. This fallen branch, I will create a lever. <gasps> Based on my calculations, the lever should allow me to push the tree aside. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to come out of my shell. Problem. Instead of trying to solve it by yourself, it's better to work as a group. Yes, you're right, Abby. Maybe you should tell them. <laughs> Excuse me, Officer Carter, Professor Kobe, Toro. You all had great ideas, but instead of doing them separately, why don't you work together? I'm sure you could move the tree. But well, how in blazes would we work together? While you pull the tree from up top, Toro can pull from the bottom. Using my power shell. And while they're doing that, I could use my lever. What a good idea, Abby. 
working together. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. about now, Dad? Thanks to you, I do. ingredient in this cake is sugar no love <laughs> out of the way someone important coming through wow max i'm important no butch but you're with me and i'm important max your feet are not supposed huh? to cross the red line huh? my feet go wherever they want Hey, kids, who's ready to go to school? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Your foot would feel better if you follow the rules. I need to know how many passengers I have. So from the front row, raise your hand and count off, starting at one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And my teddy is nine. Is it okay if I count him too? Sure. I know how special he is to you. Okay. Nine passengers. Everyone, buckle up. Seat belts are for babies. Without the big windmill, Wind Island would have no power. What do you think makes the windmill spin? Um, wind. No, I think it's wood nymphs and fairies. <laughs> what 
where could the school be? Where could the bus be? The school must be hiding from me. Welcome to the first day of school. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. There should be nine kids. Where's Max? Here I am. Sundays, George. <laughs> Nothing to do but play. I forgot Liz and Johnny aren't home today. <laughs> Mom, do you want to play? We could ride bikes over Rainbow Bridge. Sorry, honey. I have a lot of laundry to do today. on a leaf boat today? I'll bet the water is all sparkly. I don't think I can. I have to finish this article for the newspaper. But it's Sunday. Sorry, Abby. I have a deadline. Oh, okay. My parents are always so busy. They never have time for me. I guess I could watch TV. George, do you want to watch a cartoon with me? George, a little help? has a name on it. I wonder what could be inside. Huh? I didn't know my dad knew how to play the saxophone. Huh? I thought he just knew how to whistle. Hmm. I have to get to the hospital. <laughs> oh, what a cute little baby. <sighs> Hello, Abby. That's me? I was so little. Almost as little as you, George. <laughs> I just met you, Abby. You've already captured my heart. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, 
Tired and exhausted all the time, but I don't think we've ever been happier. Well, every day she grows a little more, and so does our love for her. I've got it. Abby, I finished my article, and the laundry's all done. Do you still want to play? <laughs> oh. Abby, how sweet. What's the big hug for? For always being there and giving me all the time you have. <laughs> <laughs> This is a duel. I have located a green shamrock. It is healthy. I will attempt to retrieve it. So, but I can. Well, I'm thrilled you finally get to come to my office and see what I do. I know you're a botanist, but I'm not sure what that is. Teddy thinks you're like a super fancy gardener. He's close. I study plants and flowers. I try to figure out the best way for them to thrive on Wind Island. Welcome to Hope Garden. You see, Abby, members of my work team make regular visits to the old world in search of any remaining plants or flowers. They bring them back here with the hope that I can help them grow and flourish on Wind Island. So that's why it's called Hope Garden. Yes, it's also named after Truman Hope, the human who saved the animals and created Wind Island. We learned about him in school, right, Teddy? Teddy says Truman Hope is a hero. Everyone, look what I found. Uh, uh. Abdul, are you okay? I think I got a case of the sniffly sneezes on my trip. But look what I brought back. Toilet paper? 
はあ、たらーマムはたらーマムはたらーマムはたらーマムはたらーマムはたらーマムはたらーマムはたらーマムはたらーマムはたらーマムはたらーマムはたらーマムはたらーマムはたらーマムはたらーマムはたらーマムはたらーマムはたらーマムはたらーマムはたらーマム What do we do with baby shamrock now? We wait and hope. Oh no! I don't understand. We gave you everything you need and you look sick. You know what, baby shamrock? When I'm not feeling good, my mom gives me cuddles, and it makes me feel better. Be strong, my little baby shamrock. Good morning, baby shamrock. You look like you're feeling much better. <laughs> Mom, look! Baby Shamrock wasn't feeling well, so I kept her warm and safe all night long. And now look at her! <laughs> <laughs> you gave it the final ingredient it needed love, because love helps everything grow. You're right, Mom. Every time you hug me, I feel myself <laughs> growing just a little bit more. Dress for my birthday party. I can't wait for everyone to see it. It's really special. A dress? Wow, that's so grown up. Mom, do I have a dress I can wear to Liz's birthday party? A dress? I'm not sure. I want to look special. <laughs> you always look special. I want to look extra special. Dresses, just a lot of pink clothes. Starting to get concerned. How 
can I look extra special when all my clothes are pink? This is going to be a disaster! <laughs> Days when we adopted you, George. <laughs> I remember that day we made such a yummy cake, even though Johnny spilled all the flour. <laughs> My first day of school. <laughs> I met so many wonderful new friends that day. Friends who love me. Happy in all these pictures, George. Ooh. I'm wearing pink in all of them. I guess pink is who I am. And my friends and family will always love me for the way I am. on Wind Island. <sighs> I am a highly decorated officer of the law, skilled in many areas of criminology. There must be some way I can put all this training to use. My, my, can it be? Is someone actually in need of the police? Oh. Wind Island Police Department, Officer Carter at your service. Hello, Officer Carter. It's Abby. You're not busy, are you? Well, I, 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 well, I, I was in the middle of chasing robbers. But I've wrapped up that case. What can I do for you? Something terrible has happened. What is it? Petty theft? Reckless driving? Disorderly conduct? No, it's Mr. Teddy. He's missing. Fantastic! This, what I mean is, I mean, fantastic that you called. As an officer of the law, I've trained for such an occasion as this. What do you think has happened to Mr. Teddy? My instincts tell me this could be a possible kidnapping. Don't you mean bear napping? I stand corrected. Have no fear. Officer Carter is on the case. Finally, I can put my training to proper use and be the policeman Wind Island has always hoped for. Carter here. You say you saw someone carrying Mr. T. 
teddy? Excellent. Can you describe what they look like? Long ears. Hmm. Hmm, a very shady-looking character indeed. Hmm? Officer Carter here. You saw someone with Mr. Teddy? Short tail. Got it. Hmm. A wicked criminal, to be sure. Wind Island Police Department. You've seen Mr. Teddy as well? The person had green eyes? My word, poor Mr. Teddy has been abducted by an absolute monster. If you see this suspect, do not approach him. Call me, Officer Carter, immediately. <laughs> Officer Carter here? <laughs> what? You've seen the suspect wearing a pink bow? Are you sure about that? A bow? A pink bow? Hello, this is Carter, Officer. I, I mean, Officer Carter. It's me, Abby. Any news about Mr. Teddy? Abby, I'm sorry, but I've let you down and I've tarnished the reputation of the Wind Island Police Department. I got plenty of descriptions of the suspect, but I wasn't able to draw an accurate sketch. Really? Um, what does the suspect look like? Long ears, short tail, green eyes, and if you can believe it, a pink bow. Uh, oh my gosh! Well, what is it? I'm the suspect! You? Yes! I was wearing Mr. Teddy on my back the whole time! And I would have never known it if it were for you, Officer Carter. You're the fastest policeman ever! Mm. Yes, well, thank you, Abby. Thank you very much. Case closed. Professor Kobe. Morning, Officer Carter. The proper way to travel is on a road, not through the trees. Sorry, I have to get to school. The British invented roads, you know. Well, I can't sit here all day. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sticks. Seems like we've been waiting forever. Ugh, no longer than that. More like, more like forever plus one. I gotta do something or I'm gonna lose my mind. Uh, if you do lose it, I'll help you find it. Even 
and this is boring. Uh, hey, I want to try that. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee! Hi, you, Klaus. Ew. Is everybody ready for their first lesson? Yes! I was ready ten minutes ago. Today, we will discover how Wind Island began. Many years ago, the planet Earth, which is where our families came from, got very hot. How hot? So hot that the Earth started melting. One very smart man named Truman Hope tried to warn everyone. Science has proved that our world is heating up and we must do something. But the person who represented all of the world leaders raised his thumb in the air and said, I don't believe it. The water continued to rise but he still said, I don't believe it. Finally, once the entire planet was underwater, he admitted that maybe he does believe, uh, just a little bit. The humans saved themselves from the global disaster, but the animals got left behind. Truman Hope knew it was the wrong thing to do. So he stayed behind and helped the animals by creating Wind Island. Truman was smart enough to figure out how to use wind power to launch Wind Island into the air. Over time, the animals became smarter and smarter. They worked together to build a wonderful community. Well, that's all for today. If there are no questions, you can go. <laughs> uh, Abby has a question. Whatever happened to Truman Hope? He passed away many, 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 many years ago. But we honor and celebrate all that he has done for us every day. If that is the last question, class is dismissed. <laughs> <laughs> Never. That is why we are so thankful for the wind. It provides us with infinite energy. <laughs> Any more questions? Um, no, that's all. I think today was my most favorite lesson ever. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Wind. You could fly, George. <laughs> it's a cape. All the superheroes on TV use them. It'll help you fly.
a better idea. I know this will work. I have a better idea. In fact, it's the bestest of all my better ideas. George. <laughs> Three, two, one, take <laughs> Ah, a moment of blissful peace and quiet reflection. I promise no more crash landings. You are cleared for takeoff. Huh? <laughs> 